and welcome back to my channel. So today I am showing you guys a video I am quite proud of. So recently I've had this appreciation, not really like obsession, but just appreciation for monochromatic things. So I decided that would be perfect to put in a room decor video. And because this is all contingent upon what colors you use, it can be very, very easy to make this like suitable for any season. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and without further ado, we can get started. <laughs> Um, and I also recently bought succulents and I needed a place to put them like a plate where they could like drain from the bottom without ruining my table. So I decided to make these plates. I used pictures of like henna tattoos online as like a reference image um, and I kind of made it similar to that. And I think that's really cool because I know hennas are like a trend thing so you can kind of incorporate them together. I thought that was cool and creative. Maybe it's just me. I also wanted to make something in which I could like make a to-do list or just organize all of my thoughts. But like picture frames to do something like that can be quite expensive. So what you can do is take a cork board or just like a cork square. These were like $3 at Michael's so it was super inexpensive. Um, and basically I just kind of measured a square in the center of my existing square with a ruler. Um, and then just kind of cut that out with an X-Acto knife. Afterwards, you can either paint this white or black or whatever color you would like to paint it. Um, or what I decided was a better option um, was covering it in paper. It's way easier and it looks more seamless because you don't have like the corkboard texture. I would personally opt for this, but maybe if you had a different color in mind, you might want to paint it. Just some options for you. To make like the insert portion of this, I just took printer paper and for one of them, I made really cute designs. And then for the second one, I decided to make a to do list. You could also do things like add pictures inside of these or put like a chalkboard or keep it corkboard if you wanted that to be like the entirety of it. You can put designs on the outside of these if you want to. You can even like stab things in them because it is corkboard and use it for that purpose. So there are really a lot of options with this and it's super super easy to make. You can also use your scraps to make like little coasters. I've seen cork coasters before, but that didn't really match the theme of this video. So that's just another option for you if you would like to recycle your old scraps. Speaking of coasters, you can actually make coasters out of polymer clay. I took about half of a block of white clay. You could also use just your scrap clay pieces and then paint them afterwards. Um, I just used white so that wouldn't be an issue. And then basically you want to knead this and roll it into a ball and then start to squish it down. Or you could also use a notebook or something and kind of press it flat. I then used a roll of duct tape actually as a kind of cookie cutter type thing um, just to make an imprint and then cut it out with an X-Acto knife. With this, the whole design idea I wanted to go for was kind of like the imprinted lace thing. But imprinting lace on a piece of polymer clay is like the most difficult thing ever. And I will be the first to say that I am not nearly talented enough to do that. Um, so if you are and you think you want to give it a shot, definitely go ahead. But I would recommend just baking your clay and then drawing some kind of lacy type design on it. It doesn't look the same, but it's way easier and I feel like it's easier to control what you're doing. This way it also stands out a bit more. Um, so there are definitely pros and cons to each way. You can choose what you want to do. These are just options for you. So I used polymer clay to make like a stamp type of thing. I rolled it into a teardrop shape, but you can of course do this with any kind of shape that you would like to do. I then kind of like stuck another piece to the outside of it to make the handle portion. When I was done baking it, I used it as a stamp and I pressed black paint to make a row of teardrops along the bottom. And then I did the same thing to the top portion. This isn't really like a project because it's so, so simple. But if you wanted to add some kind of pattern or color into your room, what you can do is take some kind of wrapping paper or just printer paper or origami paper and just cover a book, like wrap the outside portion of a book um, and just have these sitting out. And I think they look really cute and they're really, really easy to make and it's so easy just to add a little bit of pattern or color into your room. So if DIYs are not really your thing, I would 100% recommend that. It works really well and I am kind of in love with it. <laughs> 
If you're looking to make room decor, I would definitely recommend checking out like the dollar section at Michael's because they have so many cute like notebooks and wrapping paper things and just jars and flowers and really cute inexpensive things that you could totally do so many creative things with. This is not sponsored. But anyways, that was all of my tips and ideas and things for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I don't know, leave me your thoughts below. I would love to hear from you. I would appreciate that very, very much. Anyways, I will see you guys very soon. Okay, bye. <laughs>